Hello everybody. So in this video I will try to show you and simplify the process of adding dynamic reviews to Klaviyo emails with the help of Stavio's stamp IO integration. This integration helps us connect our Shopify store more closer to our customers where they, they are able to leave reviews and later we can use these reviews to insert them in, in, into Klaviyo email and it will look something like this but this is the code that we see how people will see it is something like this this is what people will see they will see the star how many star people rated it what they put as a title and their review right now this is set to be for random comments for reviews from the website or the last reviews that happened on the website so there are option to create it like this we can also specify a specific product to show only reviews for that specific product or we can specify specific reviews so we can select this review this review another review we can also decide how many to show here and things like that so yeah let's go from the start so the first part is the simple part that you need to do is shopify i won't be covering that part in this video uh, i will keep it mostly to Clavio. so in shopify or if you use some other e-commerce like woocommerce or big commerce you will need to go to the relevant app store download the stamped io app and log in through your account to e-commerce there you will see something like this so you'll see this page where you will need to add your site id and your private private ip key from Clavio. private ip key in Clavio, you can find this if you go to accounts and then you go to api keys and you will have several keys this is your public ip key but for this we need private ip key and what we'll need to click on create ip key we will give it a name and we will see the private ip key that we will need to copy into this call so this is how to connect your stamp tile that will be into your account into your shopify or e-commerce or woocommerce account and with this we will connect it to Clavio. okay so now that we finish with the integration and installation when we connected stamp tile up with Clavio, we will go into Clavio and start to create uh, the, the block that will show us the reviews from the website here we have already the stamp tile reviews created uh, which are in this email but for the purpose of this video i will start doing it from start right now i don't have access to the to this stamp tile account and this is how it looks so this is the code that you will need the url that you will need uh, to copy from your stamp tile account into data feeds in Clavio, so we will be able to see the reviews uh, because we already have one created and this is the link i will use it to create a new one so we go to add web feed we go to here we write the name and we add the link and here we need to put get requested method is get and content type is json so that would be it and add data feed okay so now we have this feed added we can now turn this off because the feed is already created so let's check that so there it is we can close that and go to the email to create the new data feed what we need to do is we need to add table with one column so we only should have one column we should go to rows we go to dynamic data source and here we should add this text that you should be that should be copied so this is a, a kind of a code here we write right views 
And here we need to change the name together with the, this science. So what we need to do is go back into data feeds, copy the name that we created, and over all of this code, we need to change the name. And then here from data source, we change to column one. And here, when we are in column one, we go to source. Here we passed another code to make sure all of this code and the previous data source code is other under is added under the uh, video in the description. And when we look, this is how it looks. To remove this part to the top, we click save, click here, and just remove this part. And we go to block styles and remove the top border. And let's see if we can change on the top. We can change it a little bit to be more centered, something like that and we save. So now we have the product we created in our email. See, it looks the same. Now, we only have one more thing left to do, and that is to click on the bottom of our page where it says that data feed, and make sure we, we are using the right data feed, and in this case, this is the new one that we created, so we will change to that one. We don't use the old one. We save, and if you preview, that's so you know that this is the column that we're working on. Let's remove the old one, and when we save and preview, okay, so we came up to a problem of if we go to preview and you see nothing is showing. And let me show you why this is happening. And this may happen to you if you don't add the right word to dynamics, uh, to data source. So you see, everything here, it depends on the code. And the code, it says review dot review title, review dot review message. So the word here should be review, not reviews. So by mistake, I added extra S. And it's not just the S. If you add any other word here, it won't work. So it needs to be reviewed because of the code that is set up to use that word to pull the data from the stamped out application. So if you change it to review, to just review and save. And if you go to preview it now, you will see the code here. Actually, not the code, but the actual reviews with the stars with the title and the text that is the actual review from the clients. Here, we can also do several things to change, to edit how this should look. If you remember previously, we removed the border at top, but we can also add it back. So just to show you how that will look. So if you add border on top and preview the email, We'll see it separated like this, which may be a good thing. It depends from your design of the template or how you want to look. You can change the color. So if we go to the review tab, so this is the title. So let's say we want to change the color. It works pretty simple and it's like any other text editor. So you can change it save it, preview it, and you see the color will change. With this, you can adapt on, to look more integrated with your design, with, design or your, with the design of your template, the colors and the styling of the letters and things like that. So the, the editing is pretty simple. So just remember, it is click, you, you need to click on the block, go to rows in column one where this code is, you just select the part that you want to edit and you make it the color or font that you like. Right now, I will move it back to how it was. And again, 
will remove the border on the top so with this we have it as it was in the beginning and this block is right now showing a specific uh, random random reviews from the website most of the time it shows the it is showing the last few reviews and but we can also make it to show a specific review a specific product on the website and that is what i will show you next okay so right now this is pretty simple and this review is showing random reviews last reviews from the website and if we go and preview this uh, this email template we will see block it will show three random pro uh, product reviews what we can do here is choose a specific product and only show reviews for that product for example if this email that we have is for a specific product we can only show reviews for that specific product or we can choose specific reviews from different products it doesn't matter we just need the code for the review and we can sort them out like that so uh, here let me first show you how to add the product specific product to to this feed so we go to the review that we created which will be code like this so right after where it says reviews slash highlight and before the API and the end sign, we'll copy this code, which is product IDs equal, and we will need to add the product ID. How to find the product ID is we, add, we create a product block, simple product block here. We go to select from cat catalog. And for example, let's go to the website and Let's say we go to custom tape cups. Go here. Does it have reviews? No, this one doesn't have reviews. Let's say we go here. We go to reviews. Ah, uh, yeah, we have pretty good reviews here. So we want two other reviews from this product. What we'll need to do is copy the name for this product. And here we go browse products. We look for that specific product, and here we see the product ID. So this product ID we need to add here in the code. And if you want to add, for example, more products, so you will copy this code from end till the end of the number, and then you copy and just change the ID for the other product that you want to add, and so on, so on. As my, uh, you just add how many products you want so right now we will do it for one product we will update the feed and now if we go and preview the text uh, the the template we should be seeing just reviews for that specific product so let's check decent product what it says here it says decent product the second one is great the third one this work out elevation mark the, the workout elevation so let's see if those are the here yeah great the workout elevation was so we now chose to show only the last good reviews from this product and that is how to select a specific product or multiple products you can select multiple products and show reviews uh, on multiple products and you can use this for emails where which are talking to for a specific product and you cannot uh, reviews for it so yeah that was it here now that you've seen how to add specific product reviews for a specific product let's say how we can add only specific reviews that we select to the email so to do that we'll need to go back to the feed and instead of this product ids code that we have uh, we will need to change that to the following code which instead product ids we will need to change it to review ids and the review id would be for example let's say here we want to show the first we go to share and we hover over facebook and right click and copy link 
and we just pass the link here. The last number that we he see here is the review ID. So we can use this review ID we can go back here and instead of the product ID that we had before, now we have the review ID. So let's add one more. And let's say we want to go to another product. Let's say this one. Go to reviews and tremendous product. We select this one. You change it and we validate the form, the feed actually. Sorry. Now, if we go and preview the email, it should only show us those two specific reviews. So let's check. You see, those are the two feeds that we are seeing decent product that we selected and tremendous product that we selected also. So this way you can select specific products on how many you want. To see you can select more here we selected two just for explanation and there is one more thing that I want to show you that it comes to this I will remove the code for the specific review IDs sorry It'd be easier if you just copy it here remove the extra code for the review IDs and then copy this back and just save it like this and now we are back on showing everything every possible review that is on the website so it's just showing the last review so if we check now we will see that it will show random three reviews from the website so there it is uh, what I wanted to show you is if you go so if you go to the product block the review block sorry and we go to reviews and then we go back to not to columns but to data source and you see this number three here this is how many we want to show so right now it was showing three so let's say if we change the number to six here and save let's see what will happen so you see now we have more reviews so you see there is a review for Instagram and things like that so we added six reviews so we changing the numbers in rows data source and here the, the number but try not to remove the these parts here so just select the number and change the number to how many you want to show and in this case I change it to five now you need to click save so it is remembered and you go create preview to see how it will look for other people if they receive this email and now it should show us five reviews so they're there so that is how to change the number of the reviews and that would be the last thing that it comes to this so yeah if you like more content like this please like subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions about this we will try to leave all the relevant information and the codes in the description of this video so yeah thanks and have a nice day